You're watching Fox 45 Morning News. All local, all morning. Well, working out does not have to be a long, drawn-out chore. Coming up, how a 10-minute in-home workout can be even better than an hour at the gym. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News Weekends. Well, if you're tired of going to the gym or you don't have time for a long workout, CEO and Director of fit to go Personal Training, Donnie Singer, is joining us to explain why a 10-minute in-home workout is better than an hour at the gym. And this is one of those things, it sounds like it's too good to be true. <laughs> I know, it sounds like kind of a clickbaity title, but sure. here's the thing. So, what I've found with hundreds of Baltimore busy professionals that we've worked with mm -hmm. is that usually they think that the biggest challenge they face with fitness is self-discipline, right? Like, I can't get myself to do and go to the gym in the morning. In reality, the problem is time. Okay. Right? So getting 10 minutes in the morning can be so much more effective if you're actually doing it versus having this ideal world where you're going and spending an hour at the gym and driving a half hour out, getting babysitter for the kids or whatever it is in the sure. morning. Is 10 minutes, is it in the morning? Does it matter what time of day you're doing it? Or just in the morning's best? I always recommend doing it in the morning if you can because number one, you get it done, so you know you're getting it in. Like if it's later, it's so much easier for other stuff to come in and then get in the way and then the workout doesn't happen. Also, okay. if you start your day with a workout, that's gonna make everything else so much more effective throughout the day. Like it's gonna make you wanna eat healthier because you started off on the right beat. Yes, sure. Okay, so what are we including in these 10 minutes? <laughs> so here's the way I wanna think about it, right? Okay. So instead of thinking about like the guy who has like a rough morning and he's like, he just has no energy, at, uh, like all the time, you want to kind of copy Paul. Who's Paul? Well, I'm glad you asked me who Paul is. <laughs> we have to tell so him this that. is Paul. Okay. Paul is that super successful CEO who also somehow has the time to stay super fit and healthy, right? We all know Paul. There's a Paul in his office. We hate Paul. <laughs> but you can be Paul. And Paul actually has a simple formula who he shared with me the other day. Okay. And it's simple for his 10 minute work that is in the morning. So he's a little conceited. He uses his own name. So it's P, plyometric, right? So some kind of cardio, like jumping jacks. Okay. A for abs, so like a plank or a sit up or something like that. U is for upper body. So you might be doing a push up. L is for lower body, so maybe doing a squat. So if you do those four types of exercises, you hit everything, mm -hmm. right? Cardio, abs, upper body, lower body, and you do that rapidly, you're gonna get your heart rate up, you're gonna hit every muscle in your body, and if you do that consecutively for 10 minutes, you're gonna get such an effective workout in the minimal amount of time. Okay, so you would start with the P and then do that for about a minute, or are you doing 30 second intervals? What are we doing here? So that's the thing, you have to work your way up. So okay. I would start with exactly that, actually, 30 second intervals, maybe okay. take like a 30 second break and then run through it again. And then you want to sort of work your way up and maximize the efficiency of those 10 minutes. Is this kind of like a, the hit thing that we hear about, the intervals? It's the Paul method. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the same but idea. Yeah, you're incorporating yeah, that. Okay. okay, you want to do something for us? Okay, I'm not so... wearing my workout shoes, but I'll, I'd be happy to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's so start with P, right? The plyometrics. Okay. So, for example, you might do like um, a jumping jack, right? Sure. So just real simple. If you just start out, and you can start slowly. It's not that it has to be super intense. Mm -hmm. You go at your own pace. So if you just start off doing some jumping jacks, right? Let's say you go for 30 seconds, fine. You can move on, you go to A, you're doing a plank. So you can be doing something on the floor where you're doing a plank. Okay. Right? Or you can be going into upper body then, you can be doing some push-ups. Then you go into lower body, you go straight in, and you're doing squats, right? Okay, Boom. and the plank's getting your abs and your arms too, kind of everything. Yeah, so we just hit, we got cardio, we got upper body, we got abs, we got lower body. I just did Paul out of order, but <laughs> that is, like that's, you need, people have this idea that you need to go to a gym, have all this fancy equipment sure. to get an effective workout in. All you need is Paul. And the key is probably during those 10 minutes, you can't be taking a break. You can't cheat. You've got to go the whole 10, right? Well, I mean, like, like I said, like you can run through one set and you can do um, all four of those, take a 30 second break and jump back in. And you want to sort of work your way up. It's, but that's the idea is getting the biggest bang for your buck. So sure. when you're at the gym, like you were saying, you might do a set, chill on your phone for 10 minutes in between set. Somebody else says, hey, are you using that? You're like, oh, wow, I forgot about the gym. Mm -hmm. If you're doing the Paul method, if you're at home and just doing a 10 minute workout in the morning, Okay. You're maximizing your efficiency and getting as much as you can out of it, so 100%. All right, thanks, Donnie. Fit to go. We appreciate you being here. Thank, thank you. Thank you for showing us that workout.